Let's get into some more Michael Jackson and Madonna. You know, I reacted to both of these people, so should be really good. It is uh, at the Oscars 1991. Let's go. The countdown continues to the most eagerly awaited movie event of the year, the 63rd Annual Academy Awards. Wait, is that Nick Cage? The countdown continues to the most eagerly awaited movie event of the year. Is that Nicolas Cage? I mean, the, the, the quality ain't the best, but is that Nick Cage? Yeah, the 63rd Annual Academy <laughs> Awards. Academy Awards. Is that, oh! Is that, uh, what's his name? Sean, Sean Connery? Is, it, is that his name? It's like James Bond himself? Maybe. Join all the stars at this year's Academy Awards live at 1 a.m. and with a full repeat at 7.30 p.m. Uh. on Tuesday, March the 26th, only on oh. Sky Movies. Yes, we know her. Um, you never know what will happen. I've decided to rise to the occasion. Oscar night. Billy Crystal hosts the 63rd Annual oh, Academy wow. Awards live tomorrow. That's incredible. So what are these two doing at the Academy Awards? Because aren't, aren't they movies? Oh, they look fantastic though. What the heck? Wow, okay. You know what? They would have made a good couple. Just going off looks. Damn, I, I, it's just really clicked. Because I know that they're both beautiful people, but uh, I, it's just really clicked that, damn, if I didn't know anything about them, I'd say, yeah, they look like a good couple to me. <laughs> wow. Oh, and they look stunning. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. I'm going to start off with Madonna. I love this fur that she's got on and, like, the low-cut dress and all the sparkles. Oh, my God. Looking beautiful there, Madonna. And then... You've got Michael, right? And he has got on this amazing looking jacket. And um, I, I tell you what this kind of looks like. You know, cowboys, they got them. And it goes here on, on your shirt. And it kind of it kind of reminds me like a cowboy -y thing going on. And an amazing belt. Oh, my God. It's looking stunning, man. They're looking beautiful. Lip. Look at the crystals around her neck. Oof, there's a lot of money there, so I can say flip. Wow. Oh, I, I love his I love his trousers in this. Can I just say? Can I pause it? Damn, it looks like kind of like snake skin. Like a maybe not actual like thing, but but it's like got the texture of like a snake. Like the like the the look of it. Wow. Man. Ooh. Holy moly. Oh my god, what is with that look though? What the heck, man? That's really creepy. Oh, no, oh my god, what's this girl doing over there? I don't know. Behind the oh my god, I got like chills in a bad way. Ooh, it's kind of creepy, man. Ooh, what's going on? Can I get a and parties, there is only one word. Spago. Spago. The Oscar party at Spago has always drawn the A-plus list of celebrities no, since no. its start by agent Irving Swifty Lazar. Why do you think this party gets so big? Why is it so big? Ooh, I don't, it's a, I suppose it's a great night. You know, it's an Academy Award night. This is the most important night for people who are in the business. One group of superstars gathered to have dinner and watch the Oscar show. It's Good. very special. It's Swifty and Mary that are very special. Well, now it's become a tradition and uh, we've oh, been asked Kelly. to come to it since it's insane. Wow. Oh, my God. He actually looks quite young there. What the heck? 1991? Flip. Over at another place, and it's fun. Those are the giving, and those are the getting it on. Oh, there. no way! It's Roger Moore! Another Bond? 
Wait, is there really two bombs there right now? Damn, he, he also looks young. What the heck? You know, I, I watched this man uh, in The Saint as well. I used to love watching The Saint. F fantastic act actor. Those are really enjoying themselves are up here. Nothing else to do, so you put on a suit and I double as a waiter. After the Academy Awards <laughs> show, more big names make the trek across oh, town to the... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, um, oh, 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 After the Academy that, Awards show, uh, more big oh, names. what's his name? Uh, D Dirk Kuglis, uh, uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah James yeah, that's the trek across town to the Spago I love his movies. movies. Did you guys enjoy the evening tonight? Fabulous, huh? fabulous. How'd it go? I mean, oh, it great, brilliant. I had a great time. I, oh, it was uh, more fun wow. than last year. I had a... It was just fun. Great to nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, of course. It was good. this, uh, is this Scarface? Scarface, is that Al Pacino? Hey, you cockroaches want to play rough? Good, it went along real nice. As spectacular as it usually <laughs> oh, is. God, it's Tom oh, Cruise yeah, and Nicole Kidman? Uh, is it? No, not Nicole Kidman. Oh, God, what's her name? Oh, I can't remember a bloody name now. But, God, he looks young as well. When is this 1991? Flip, this is like... Uh, Mission Impossible era, I think. The crystal was fantastic, and uh, it was good, uh, you know, seeing all our friends. And the winners show up to celebrate their success until the wee hours. Oh, they. Madonna they showed Jeremy Irons what she thought of his win. Oh, I love And Whoopi Jeremy. Goldberg's fans oh. let her know how they felt. Whoopi! You got a terrific reception out there. Well, these people made uh, oh, made this possible. So good. And they know it's I theirs. love this. Oh my God! Why has this been all my life? You know, I these are the people that I grew up with. I, I watched so many movies. Oh my gosh! Uh, I'm a mo I'm a movie kind of guy. I, I when I was growing up, I would watch movies over music. I hated music. I didn't like. I didn't like music at all. But movies, I'd listen to them all the time, I'd watch them, and they'd just be playing all day long, all 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, uh, all these movies, I know word for word some of them, and that's what I would do, that was my entire childhood, was movies, so this is like, this is like, ah. Oh. Heaven for me right now. This is the thrill of all a lifetime. I'm gonna have a drink. Oh, oh, there's no bigger geez. party than the Oscars. He looks so This is young. the thrill of all a lifetime. I'm gonna have a drink. Look at Jeremy Irons. Flipping heck. Um, I, I think that one of my favorite Jeremy Irons things was uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance when he plays. Simon, I, 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 I always remember it as Simon, but his actual name was Gruber. I think it's like his second name's Gruber because they dropped his brother off the top of the blooming uh, skyscraper in the first one. Drink. Well, there's no bigger party than the Oscar party at Spago. Until next year, Pat O'Brien, Entertainment Tonight. Thank you, Pat. I think that was Goldie Hollywood Hall. was caught in limousine gridlock last night. A star shuttled from party to party, but the first stop on everyone's agenda was only a few steps away. The governor's ball at the Shrine Auditorium. <laughs> Things got rolling at the annual governor's ball oh where God. a non-material girl, Sinead O'Connor, materialized despite her recent boycott of the Grammys. Oh While she chatted with Daniel Day-Lewis, Oscar presenters, nominees, and winners were turning up at parties here, oh, there, and... Oh, is that Joe Pesci? Oh, uh, Moonwalker. Uh, <laughs> brilliant, flipping brilliant. Oh, my God, he is so good in uh, Home Alone. Ah, oh, flip, man. Lewis, Oscar presenters, nominees, and winners were turning up at oh parties God, here, so there, good. and everywhere. As long as I can hold his hand, I'll be happy. It was a blast from Hollywood's past at a Beverly Hills gala oh, honoring Jimmy is Stewart. Is that Stan Lee? His hand, I'll be happy. Wait. It was a blast from Hollywood's past at a Beverly Hills. Is, is that Stan Lee? Did he always look that old? Is that Stanley? Oh my God, it might not be Stanley. I don't Gala know. honoring Jimmy Stewart and Ginger Rogers on the 50th anniversary of receiving their Academy Awards. Stewart wow. said Oscar fiestas haven't changed all that much in the last half century. This reminds me. Party hoppers limoed their way across town to yet another bash where Mimi Rogers, Peter Gabriel, Susan Sarandon, and Tim Robbins were among those toasting the evening. Right. Christopher Reeve confessed he'd like to be on... Oh my God, that was before his accident. 91 so this is like i don't know ah uh, this was a few years before he had his accident he fell off the horse oh my god did you know he's like six six foot four or something like that very very tall man it is it's like you you meet him in real life he's a very, very tall man um i have seen the uh the original uh superman suit 
uh, one of them, because when they're filming these films, they go through like four, four, five, six suits all in one. And I have, um, I stood right next to it. it, it it's, it's, it's massive. I, I tell you what, the actual suit itself, because it's so, it's so like skin tight, it sort of just stretches, but you can still see he was a big man. He's a lot bigger than what you'd expect him to be. On the receiving end of the Oscar for once. I've presented on the Oscars four times now. Uh, it is better to receive than to give. And after man. Dances with Wolves came away with seven Oscars, Kevin Costner oh, wow. threw a private party for friends and family at a Hollywood restaurant. These are our Love friends. Kevin and Kevin Costner. Uh, and I, I guess we just kind of kept... Boo! Walter Weld! Boo! Boo! Up to ourselves, we... we uh, we're probably just going to rock out. And how did <laughs> Kevin's parents feel about their son's triumph? Proud, proud, proud. Oh, that's his dad. Bill Costner. The catchphrase for some yeah. fashions. This year, Jeff Bridges opted for a vest with a zest. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. Proud. I thought I'd... Jeff Bridges, yes. This guy's brilliant. I, I, I watched a film quite recently uh, where he, he came back to reprise his role. Uh, it was in, uh, what's it called, Tron? Because he was in the original Tron, right? Well, he came back and he did like the new, like a new remake of Tron. And it was not a great film. But he did do really good. Like his acting, flipping fantastic. I, I just wanted to point that out. It's opted for a vest with a zest. Usually I'm the kind of guy who likes to blend in with a crowd. I thought I'd challenge myself and uh, like step out a little bit tonight. <laughs> Mario Van Peebles selected a suit that could do double duty. If directing doesn't pan out, I can always go back to being a head waiter. You're so unbelievable. <laughs> Jodie Foster's dress, oh. or lack of it. Oh, of course. Hello, Cleese. Ooh, it always gives me blooming goosebumps, this man. Uh, Silence of the Lambs, uh, Zorro. Oh my God, he, was, he played such a good Zorro in Zorro uh, with uh, uh, Antonio Banderas or whatever his name is. It caused a stir, as did Gina Davis's new do and glamorous slit to the thigh dress. Even Oscar winner Jeremy Irons made a statement by wearing a stylish pair of sneakers. I like to keep my feet on the ground and I find not having a heel at these occasions enables me to do that. <laughs> You're unbelievable. More than a dozen designers supplied gowns for the women on stage last fantastic. night. Michael Jackson escorted Madonna to the Oscars, but didn't make this premiere. Of course, she told the gay magazine The Advocate that given the chance, she would completely redo his image. Maybe the gloved one had nothing to wear. What? Madonna, what are you doing? Why? 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 I thought he looked like fire. Flipping heck. Why? 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 Oh, they do look fantastic. I think they look fantastic. Also, uh, Michael has got two gloves on instead of just one. Interesting. Beautiful smile. Oh, this is so great. I, I, no, I've not stopped smiling. On Hollywood's hottest night, Michael Jackson stunned 76 million TV viewers by taking a very special date to the 1991 Academy Awards. I love that. Madonna. Seeing, um, you know, Madonna and Michael Jackson together, and it was the freakiest oh thing in the world, but it also made a lot of sense in a weird way because it was like, here are these two huge pop stars, and they're showing up together. It's an unexpected pairing. Yeah. People hadn't seen them together before, but the rumors start. So automatically, they generate all this sort of publicity for themselves because oh. are they dating? What's going on with Michael Jackson and Madonna? Everybody wants to know. Madonna had on a, kind of a white evening dress, and Michael had on kind of like a white tuxedo, and it was like yeah, it was weird, cute. like they were going to get married. Oh! Weird, like they're going to get married? I didn't think that. Did anyone else think that? I didn't, I didn't think or that. I wondered how two of the most outrageous personalities in pop hooked up. <laughs> the answer was pretty simple. Michael was like, well, who are you going to go with? And I said, I looked at him, I said, I don't know, you want to go? He gives me fever. <laughs> and he said, yeah, that'd be great. Oh my when God. the award show was over, the couple sent the paparazzi into overdrive, wow. turning up arm in arm at an after party. And the fun didn't end there. And then, yes, he took me home. <laughs> this, is, this is the first time I've ever actually heard her talk. I was just trying to think back, and I, I don't think I've ever actually heard Madonna talk. 
she doesn't talk like she sings. She's got a completely different talking voice to what she sings like. A absolutely different. Couple sent the paparazzi into overdrive, turning up arm in arm at an after party. And the fun didn't end there. And then, yes, he took me home. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now, what do you want to know? What happened after that? Yeah. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, come on! I want to know! Oh. At the 1991 awards, she brought the most popular dude on the planet. She was hooked up with Warren Beatty, and that was over. So she had to find a bigger date than Warren Beatty. So she came with Michael Jackson. We started working together. You can't together get any bigger. And, uh, I didn't have a date for the Academy Awards. And Michael's like, well, who are you going to go with? And he said, I don't know who you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> together, they make this speeding frenzy for the paparazzi. It was like staring yeah. at the sun. Like, you can't look away. You have to stare at this for as long as you can stand it. Oh, yeah. Individually, Madonna and Michael Jackson, great icons. Something happened when they came together that made them very sort of two celebrity <laughs> impersonators at a arrived at the Academy Awards. <laughs> Who knows what happened that night? Did they hook up and now he doesn't call her anymore? I want to know. Yes, he took me home. Now what do you want to know? What happened after that? Yeah. I'm not going to tell yeah, you. So, I love to think. So cool. I want to know. That's the first time I've seen them together and I think it's the last time I've seen them together. People will remember that forever. It's Madonna and Michael Jackson together. You can't get a bigger powerhouse than that. Oh, it's amazing, man. Do you know, I love this. I love that it was just, it's, it almost sounds like it was spear in a moment. Like, you know, do you want to go out? Yeah, let's go out. It, I, I don't think anything actually happened. Come on. I, I can't see that. But it's just nice to, nice to know this. There's something I didn't know. I certainly didn't know. I, I've learned a lot through this video. I love this video. <laughs> That's like a nostalgia trip for me. It's like going back in time and going back to my, my childhood. I love films. I love like the whole industry as well. Like the, I like I I idolize like the people, the producers, the the people who are behind the camera and they direct the directors, like Steven Spielberg, uh, Alfred Hitchcock, Tarantino, flipping Stanley Kubrick and. Oh my God, so many others. Uh, even Michael Bay has, has had his had his moments. It's like uh, some of the most fantastic films are like the Transformer films that, you know, but I, I'm just saying that I really enjoy like film and that side of it. And if it was up to me, this would be a, a film reaction channel. But uh, it's like, I think that I don't know much about music. I, I know less about music than I do films. Films, I know a lot about. That was bloody brilliant. I really enjoyed that. 